Well, it's great to be here, and we're standing in front of tons of wool. Is this straight off the sheep's back? Nope, this is scoured wool. So what is it that's so special about wool? Well, first of all, it's, a, it's the ultimate in sustainable fibers. It's renewable. <laughs> okay. Um, it's recyclable, and it's very easy to process it with uh, natural technologies. You don't need a lot of harsh chemicals uh, to convert wool into beautiful fabrics. But what it really comes down to is the wool fiber itself and its quality. Okay. And Mother Nature perfected that uh, centuries ago. <laughs> okay. All right, so you bring all this wool in. What are you going to make out of it? Marshall, we make a variety of very high quality fabrics and uh, specialty fabrics like uh, fireproof fabrics and uh, healthcare fabrics and things like that. You said fireproof? Fireproof because one of the great characteristics of wool is that it doesn't burn. It'll char, but it will not burn. So it's used in a variety of uh, fire protection um, uses. Okay, so this is the world's first Nomex for... Absol <laughs> absolutely. But there's still one small issue to deal with. This is the bobbin that came off the spinning machine. The problem is that the yarn on this bobbin isn't nearly long enough. This machine solves that problem. It's called the winding machine, and it can take several bobbins and combine them together to form a giant spool of yarn that's precisely the right length for the next phase. The winding machine unwinds the yarn from the bobbins and combines it onto larger cones. Once the fabric's complete, it still has to pass inspection. So, what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for flaws, like here's the one right here. Now this is what we call a cutter slag. So I can't even see what you're looking at. What have you found there? You can see this little mark. If you can't see, you can see it. You can feel it right there. Okay, you're right. So what's going to happen with this? Well, then you have to mark it, and I'll account for one flaw in your ticket, and you're allowed 14 flaws per cut. And then what happens? then you can go ahead and ship it. If you have more than 14 flaws, or if you have a, a lot of holes or whatever, then you go ahead and fold it up and we'll put it on a remnant pile and we'll sell it out in the sales room. Okay. A scraps and people make rugs out of it or whatever they <laughs> make things out of. Okay. Yeah. So are there some things that you could actually fix in the fabric? Oh yeah, you can fix side draws. There's like this right here, this small little knot right here? Yeah. Okay, you can pick at it, and you can thin it down a little bit. <laughs> That's like where a thread was tied in a knot or something? and. Yeah, and you can kind of thin it out, and then you can take the material, and you can poke it back in, and you never <laughs> see it. 